Dorian Penaglu from DorianPenaglu.com and today we're going to be talking about aperture or an f-stop. The aperture or the f-stop is the number in the camera which handles the amount of light that comes through the camera or actually through the lens. When you set your aperture to a low number such as 2.8 that means that the little hole on the inside is actually opened wider on the inside of the lens. And when you set it to something to like 22 or 16, it's very, very small and less light's coming through the lens. Now the importance of aperture is to manage depth of field and also light that could come through the lens. When I say depth of field, I'm talking about what's in focus and then what's blurry in the background or out of focus in the background. Aperture is really good to know because it can give you the effect of having something very well in focus and the whole background all blown out and give you that desired DSLR look. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take test shots from starting at f2.8 going all the way up to 22. Alright, now what I've done is I come down here, I brought this little Uzu wine bottle guy from my Uzu. He's a Greek little soldier, it's a cool thing. So we're going to take a picture of this and we're going to see I got down here the 5D Mark III with a 50mm 1.8. So we're going to start off shooting at 1.8 and then we're going to gradually up the aperture and see how much the photos go from there. I'm going to pretty much use the table as if it were a tripod just so that there's nothing affecting the focal distance between the, the Uzu bottle and the camera. So right now we're using aperture priority. We're going to focus on the middle point. And right here is 1.8. Boom. Let's go up to 2.8. Boom. 3.5. Boom. F4. Let's go up to 5.6. Gonna have to up the ISO because now we're getting higher in ISOs. 6.3. This is at F8 on the 50 mil 1.8. Let's go to F11. We'll bump the ISO up one more time. And here's F16. And here's F22. Now as you can see through the photos, you'll see that the depth of field, the blurriest blurriness of the background, is actually going to go uh, there's going to be more in focus in the background. This is still our main subject, the focal length didn't change, but the blurriness in the background will change. Another thing to note when you're changing uh, uh, the aperture, just know that the shutter speed is also going to need to be changed to accommodate for the amount of light that you're letting into the lens, and also the ISO as well. I hope this gives you guys a little bit of a better understanding on aperture. Just remember, the main focus of aperture is the amount of depth of field you want to give to your subject and then the amount of light that you want to let in if you can't have the shutter speed at your desired shutter speed. <clears throat> a great starting lens for this is the 50mm 1.8. I'll be doing a review on that later on today. But the 50mm 1.8 is definitely a great starting lens on Canon's line. It's about $100 on Canon, I think like 150 on Nikon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe. Comment on the bottom if you want, if you have any more questions on Aperture. And uh, this is Dorian from DorianPanaglue.com. See ya.